lovely Libras. Welcome to the Oracle of Lilith. My name's Amy and I'm really glad you're here today. I hope you're doing well. Today I'm doing a general session, a general energy reading for the Libra Collective. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. This is a timeless reading, although I'm reading it in May. When you find it and it resonates, it's for you. All right. So I want to thank all the Libras who have subscribed to my channel. And uh, if you're new here, Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. Uh, I hope you subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you as part of my tribe. Okay, so I did a pre-shuffle. These are the five tarot cards that came out. They came out of the Hermetic Tarot. And um, I'm going to flip these over. We're going to see what's going on. However, there was a song I connected with for you guys. It's ELO, Electric Light Orchestra, Don't Bring Me Down. And that's a little message here. That is a general message. Whatever is going on, in your life, Libra, stay focused. I don't think you're going to let anything touch you at this point. I think you've been through a lot, Libra. In fact, I know you have. And you're getting to a point where nothing's going to be able to shake you. You're going to become unstoppable, okay? Here we go. We got the Ten of Swords. Yeah, Lord of Ruin. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that energy. The Five of Pentacles here, Lord of Material Trouble. We have, <clears throat> we have the Princess of Pentacles here. We have the Two of Cups. And we have the Four of Wands here. So, I don't know. Can you guys see that? I'm figuring out this uh, little setup here. I'm, I'm working on it. Okay, here we go. All right, so I feel like this is the energy that many Libras have been getting out of, struggling with. Just done. Just done. Done with the shit, okay? Just done done moving on and you know that it's been a struggle you know you may have been struggling with money you may have been struggling with having connections in your life that are valid you may be struggling with elements of self that you need to be done with but you're moving forward this princess of pentacles is getting stable they're getting grounded this is libra walking into some stability and balance all right there's two of cups here so love is going to play a role in it love or friendship i feel like someone's coming through for libra okay and it's going to bring a lot of happiness in the areas of work and career and money okay so allow this energy to come forward this ten of swords makes it difficult i feel like some of you guys are a little bit distant you're a little bit caught up in this um you know and i get it we have to make money we have to survive we have to keep hustling and i feel like libra has been really focused on trying to get out of this and it's time for you to ground okay it's time for you to know that nothing can touch you Okay, you need to just remain positive and focused. A positive, focused air, I was going to call you Aries, Libra is unstoppable. You may have an Aries in your life that's coming through to help you or someone with Aries energy. That means sun, uh, moon, rising, Venus, or Saturn, I'm hearing, maybe Mars. Um, but there is Aries energy around Libra. I think it's helping propel you. The person coming through may have Aries energy as well. So um, I know some Libras cannot get away from Aries energy. It always seems like there's somebody in their life who carries that signature usually in a really important placement when you have that around you a lot it's a catalyst so remember that this five of pentacles this lord of material trouble issue here this ten of swords all of that was to catapult you and catalyst you into your next evolution of in this lord of perfected work here okay so the uh, Hermetic Tarot is a little bit different for me. Uh, this is an energy of enlightenment. And I, I use this deck because I feel like there's a lot of awareness coming forward for Libra. And um, it's really important as the awareness has come forward, you stay in the energy of don't get me down. Okay. Nothing's going to break me. Nothing's going to stop me. All right. Um, I feel like some of these awarenesses probably have to do with this Ten of Swords energy, this five of uh of pinnacles lord of material trouble here so i feel like there is clarity coming for you as well as um help with this two of cups so let's get some clarity on the two of cups i'm being drawn to the ann stokes gothic tarot here so let's how are you still wiggling i'm trying you guys to not wiggle the camera <laughs> it's, it's a whole new setup Okay, so let's clarify the Ten of Swords here for Libra. Okay, what's going on with that? The Knight of Pentacles. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's a slow-moving energy. You're slowly moving out of it, but slow and steady wins the race. That's what I'm getting. So 
you know, um, and I feel like the Ten of Swords really affected your sense of well-being. It may have triggered you in some way, uh, and you may have felt yourself struggling since then, and the struggles may have boiled over into your work because you may feel blocked by it, and I feel like you're releasing it as you move into the Princess of Pentacles energy. Five of Pentacles. Let's clarify. One card, please. I got two. I'll take two. Ten of Wands, okay, and the Knave of Cups. So, this is like a page. All right, so I feel like what will help you move out of this is just moving forward. Pick it up. What? It, pick up your troubles and move on. All right. You may not be able to leave this five of pentacles energy, but you can definitely get motion forward. Okay. And I feel like with the knave of cups here, we're getting some energy of possibility. Okay. I feel like intuition is guiding as well. Um, infinite possibilities is what I'm feeling moving into that with the 10 of wands. Lots of, lots of will it takes to pick up, just pick it up and move it forward. Sometimes what we can't release and aren't ready to release, we just kind of have to pick up and move forward, okay? But I feel like spirit is guiding you, all right, with the Knave of Cups. There's intuition here, um, yeah, in love, right? So, all right, let's clarify the Princess of Pentacles here, this energy. I feel motion with the Princess of Pentacles. I, I feel like you're taking a new perspective, on um on this energy so yeah the princess of pentacles is like the knave in uh the gothic tarot here so the ace of pentacles x marks the spot so it's like you're focusing okay you are focusing you are able to use your intuition to bring you out of the situation libra you're focusing you're picking it up and you're taking it forward what you can't heal what you can't uh, get rid of what you can't cut off. You're, you're just bringing it forward. And sometimes that's what we have to do when we heal. Okay. We have to just stay focused, not get distracted and keep going because, because it's manifesting. You have the ace of pentacles here. So this is manifestation. Okay. Um, change. I'm feeling change manifesting, moving into this princess of pentacles energy. Princess of pentacles energy can feel very much like, um, inspiration as well. And, um, but it's also really about materializing. There's a lot of energy of manifestation here. So if you practice the law of attraction or something like that, or magic, know that it's going to be manifesting for you. Okay, let's clarify the two of cups. All right. The four of pentacles. All right. So I'm feeling like uh, there's a need here to uh, be open um, and be grounded for this Four of Pentacles to really um, come through. Uh, I feel like you, you're not, this person is lingering around you. That's what I feel for Libra. There's a person lingering around you. This is love or friendship or a business opportunity. But somebody is around you in your general vicinity uh, that is going to collaborate in some way with you. This could be your partner. This could be um, a friend. But I feel like there's an offer also with this Two of Cups coming through that you're not going to see coming. Um, and it's important that you not get into the energy of many of you are working on something and it's not going as quickly or how you want it to go. And it's just really important to be open on a new approach here um, and be patient, okay? Okay, the four of wands. We have four, four here. So, okay. Four of wands, let's clarify. The knight of cups. So, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is interesting. So I feel like, again, this is an opportunity. This is an opportunity for love, to get closer, or this is a work opportunity. For many of you Libras, this is money, okay? This is a money opportunity that you've been working on. And what it is, it's the universe coming in and giving you some good energy because of this intensive work here. Never doubt that there are rewards coming <clears throat> for the work you're doing, all right? Uh, they're coming, and I feel like for some of you, it's romantic. 
For others, this is work related. This is money. This is opportunity. Okay. It could be opportunity for, for rec, uh, reconciliation for some of you guys, but um, for many of you, this is a new person. It may be in your friend group. So just keep that in mind. Okay. I'm going to get three of these animals. There we go. I'm going to take that one too. Oh, well, not this one. Not these. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got for the animal spirit. Trust in divine detours. I feel like this situation here was a divine detour. And you may have been wanting to manifest something kind of big, like a huge change, like a move, a new job, uh, a new partner, things like that. And sometimes when we were, we're trying to manifest that, they have to clear the way. And this Ten of Swords, Five of Pentacles energy is clearing the way. You have to make room in your life for this new thing. And for a while, Libra, you may be in this energy of feeling like, really um like not not in harmony not in balance not comfortable just know when you feel uncomfortable it's because there's growth happening you're learning to grow you're learning to depend on yourself you're learning to not be codependent a lot of libras are codependent they can't help it it's just their nature they care about their families and then they get in that weird cycle of being kind of codependent and many libras now are learning to not be like that they're learning to be independent and to not be codependent with partners and not to be codependent with their friends so it's a really cool energy that libra's getting into we have be here now embrace your life embrace where you are where you are don't just think about the future we can't spend all of our time manifesting we have to engage our life where it is right now Love is all around. Libra, you may not feel it because of this energy over here, but there's a lot of love coming towards Libra right now, okay? Uh, your healing is vital to the collective. Uh, many Libras are getting rid of like narcissistic energy, narcissistic behaviors, um, codependent behaviors. And all of that, when you release that, sometimes you're, you're left with what you feel like an empty life. Because people are gone, places are gone, things are gone. But the truth is, there is massively good energy coming in for Libra. But it's just vital that you stay focused and don't let people knock you off your game, okay? Because there's a lot to gain here. There is some really good cups of possibility, abundance, love, hope. And all those things coming forward for Libra. So just be ready to accept it. Be ready to... Um, be open to it, okay? I think you're going to know. All right. Those came out, so we'll take both of them. Arwen, three rays of light, balancing male and female energies, peace and harmony. So, yeah, I feel like that's coming through for the Libra Connect Collective. You're getting balanced. You're getting rid of a lot of this negative energy here. Philosopher's Stone, powerful manifestation of wishes, goals, by harnessing universal energy. Ooh, yeah. So... You're learning how to take this negative energy and and alchemizing it, transmuting it into positive energy. That's going to feed your balance, okay? So as you learn how to do this, as you move into possibilities, as you pick up the burdens you can't heal right now, as you pick them up, just like this, uh, I'm seeing the 10 of Wands energy, pick them up and move on. Get into the movement and go as guided. Listen to your intuition. Don't let those tapes that are running in your head get in your way. Go with your intuition because you won't go wrong in this case. There is just a lot of healing energy coming through the collective in general right now. And I feel like Libra is going to be healing a lot of, uh, of the emptiness they may be feeling in their lives right now. The void. Okay, I feel like new people, places and things, opportunities are coming forward for Libra because we did this intense work here and we're still doing it and because we have those ten of wands we may be doing it for all our lives because we never stop growing when you stop growing you stagnate and it really does a number on your vital energy so we always want to keep growing and keep going and moving to new things so yeah libra that's what i got for you i hope this resonated if it did or it didn't please leave me a comment in the comment section down below i'd love to hear from you guys i hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.